Well, I think it's not. Uh, I think that's not easy. Um, but I, th I do believe that the that the spirit inhabits the text, and I believe that if we are open uh, to the leading of the spirit, we are led uh, always to new ways to read. Uh, I have a. I have a kind of a lover's quarrel with the lectionary, uh, and I understand that the, the more liturgical churches stick close, um, but there's so much good stuff that's left out that way, and so I, I'm always glad if uh, preachers have a, a little more freedom about that to uh, pick up other stuff. Um, but I think if the text comes uh, through a three-year cycle, if the preacher is thinking and reading and growing, uh, the preacher will come at it very differently. And uh, good preachers know if you get out a sermon that you preached three years ago, you kind of wonder now, why did I do that? Or did I do that? Uh, so the freshness of it, uh, it seems to me, is really important. Yeah. And I, I suppose there are great issues uh, that you have to deal with, but I would rather even those were dealt with textually. Um, the, the reason for that is that uh, I think on most issues, uh, pastors are not knowledgeable. Pastors are going to have people in the congregation that are more knowledgeable about the topics than the pastor is, and uh, you cannot read up on every topic that uh, might come out that way. Um, the other thing is that I think if you move toward uh, topics, I tend, I think you tend to build, you tend to divide the congregation. If the, if the topic is really a disputatious one, then there are people on both sides of the topic, and uh, it's, it's very hard to be an advocate uh, in any direct sense the other conviction I have about that, and it may be that the topical sermons do not need to be didactic, but I think they tend to be. Uh, over my long years of psychotherapy, I have, first of all, I read and then I learned that one insight uh, by the counselee is worth a thousand suggestions by the therapist. And uh, mutatis mutandis, I think that's how it is in preaching. One connection that a parishioner makes is worth a thousand connections that a preacher makes, because it's not my connections. Uh, and so I, th I'm, I'm worried that that uh, topical sermons um, um, tend to make too many connections for people. Now it may be that if I were a pastor in a congregation over time that I would think differently about that, but that's where I am now.